Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at using Z scores to compare data. I'm just going to do a quick recap of our Z scores. So remember last lesson we looked at our um, normal distribution table where we had the mean in the middle and then we had our standard deviations or a Z score of positive one, which is one standard deviation above the mean, two standard deviations above the mean, and three standard deviations above the mean, then one below two below and three below okay and they were our actual z score so a z score of minus one was one standard deviation below the mean another way to find the z score if we re uh, remember is the score subtract the uh, mean and then divide it by the standard deviation okay and the higher the z score the better the score is going to be so let's look at a question David compares his swimming times in freestyle and butterfly. Okay, so in freestyle, we'll look at freestyle first of all. So freestyle, we've got a score of 35 seconds. We've got a mean of 43 seconds with a standard deviation of 4 seconds. In butterfly, so butterfly, we have a score of 37 seconds, we have a mean of 46 seconds, and we have a standard deviation of 3 seconds. And it says there which event did he do better in. Okay, looking at face value, we're looking at probably 37 seconds being, um, being the worst one because obviously the quicker you finish the race, the better it's going to be. So I would think at the moment 35 seconds for so freestyle. But let's have a look at our standard deviations and our uh, Z scores. So if I do a straight Z score for freestyle, my Z score will be um, 35 subtract 43 and divide it by 4. Okay, so 35 subtract 43, then I'm going to divide that answer by 4, which gives me a Z score of negative 2. My butterfly Z score will be 37 seconds, take away 46 over, 30, uh, over 3, sorry. So 37 take away 46, okay, divide that by 3 equals minus 3. So I'm minus three standard deviations. Now, in terms of this question, this is quite interesting, but I think you'd have to know a little bit about swimming because swimming is a race, right? So your time, the quicker the time's going to be, the better it's going to be. So if this was an average, like this is actually an exam, 35 would be minus two standard deviations or two standard deviations below the mean. But because this is about speed and we want a smaller time you'd actually be saying that this has two standard deviations above the mean and this would be three standard deviations above the mean because that's actually a better score okay 37 seconds is a better score than 46 that might sound a bit weird to you but hopefully you understand either way what we're looking at is that the butterfly is three standard deviations further away from the mean and it's better because he's got a quicker time therefore i would say butterfly would be the better one because he's three standard deviations above the mean so i guess we're looking at the lower relative mean well z score anyway Next one, I hope this is a bit easier. The mean standard deviation of algebra and finance exams are shown in the table below. Kayla scored 76 in algebra and 74 in finance. Okay, so that's our scores. Oops, our scores, that's our mean, etc., etc. What is Kayla's Z score for her result in algebra? Okay, so algebra, we've got Z score will equal 76 take away 72 divided by 8, which is 4 over 8, which is 0 0.5. Part B, what is Kayla's Z score for a result in finance? Well, finance is 74 take away 67 divided by 10. So that's going to be, what's that, 3, 7 over 10, 0 0.7. 
C says, Kayla was very pleased with the result in algebra. Did she do better in algebra or justify her answer? No, she did not. Um, in finance, she had a Z score of 0 0.7, which is further above the mean. Okay, so again, if you're thinking about, um, I'm just going to move that down a little bit. If you're thinking about uh, the normal distribution, okay, so we've got zero, we've got one, 0 0.5 would be here, so that would be our um, algebra mark, and finance would be over here somewhere, so we can see that finance would be higher above the mean than what the algebra, therefore the finance would be a better mark. Um, I hope this made a bit of sense to you. Um, it can get a little bit difficult sometimes, like we saw that previous question. But basically, if we can compare the Z scores, the bigger the Z score, the better they did. Okay, remember, a positive Z score means that they are above the mean, a negative means they're below. Have an awesome day.